Hola, welcome back to Thrice the Moon. Thank you so much for joining me. So today we're going to do what's going on with the third party. Why did they choose the third party? So we're going to see the energy, your energy versus the third party. And let's find out why they just went somewhere else. So we have two piles to choose from. We have the Toro one pile one with this nice rose quartz and then we have Totoro two the little fuzzy one with the rough rose quartz so take some time to pick your pile hello pile one if you picked this little cute Totoro with this rose quartz. Let's see why your person picked the third party. So I'm gonna have two piles. This is gonna be you and this is gonna be the third party. So I realized that you might be the third party. So we're just gonna concentrate on your energy versus the other person. So we're gonna do 10 cards for you. Some cards for you. Okay, feels ready. Okay, and then 10 cards for the other third party. Why did pile one person pick the third party? Why did they choose someone else? Why are they over there? What's going on with the energy? So this is your energy. So I don't know if your person has said they pray for your growth. I don't know if they were being cruel or mean, but I hear like they're praying for your growth, like in a kind of a mean way, not in a nice way. It says you have let your friends help you. You have calling in your soulmate, religious factors, destiny, guilt, release, and trickery. So your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Ask for and accept support from others. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Help bring you together with your soulmate. So how they feel about you. Hmm. I don't... Okay, so religious factors here. This is telling me that you two are very different. So I don't know if you're from a different culture religion maybe your same sex but they're feeling a bit guilty about this relationship like something about it makes them have uneasy feelings that they want to release themselves from where it feels like if, if they are religious it could be like a sin they feel like they're sinning like, they're not supposed to be doing this. Even though they have all these feelings for you. Destiny calling in your soulmate, right? 
they have these feelings, but for some reason they feel like letting go because of this guilt that they hold on to. This, uh, it feels like they need to, t they want to take something to the grave with them, with you. And they need to release those emotions so they can stop feeling like the devil is tricking them. Like this is um, a very sinful relationship. But they feel this abundance. They feel like they've been praying for you. They might have even said that. But for some reason, it feels like it kind of ended a little bit where they were being mean. Even though these cards look nice, I just feel mean. Like they could have just been snippy with their words. And it's it's completely them. It's not you. They just have feelings inside of them that they don't know what to do with. And then they take it out on you because maybe you're more free and they can't be the way that you are. And really, it's them who needs to grow and not you. Okay, so I'm going to see... What's the energy over here with the other person? Okay, so the energy with the other person. Is this something new? Or either something that they've been in and then they're reconciling with their person over here. I think this person, you have, okay, you have make the effort over here. They have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. They have getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other. Your bond deepens. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. So that's why I feel like hmm, maybe it's someone that they've dealt with in the past. And then that person is forgiving them for possibly stepping out on them. Leaving them, ab abandoning them. Or... Obviously, it could be something new. I feel like your person is insecure. You have insecurity right here. And then balance. So this relationship might feel balanced for them, but it's only because this person puts up with the things that you won't. And that's not a bad thing your right to stand in your power this person just takes it and they're grateful for whatever little breadcrumbs your person feeds them and your person doesn't have to make as much effort with them enlightenment so it, it just it feels en enlightened or it's just like oh well yeah i don't have to do much over here i don't have to feel so guilty and your person could have even told this person a little bit of what was going on with you and they reconciled from that. Where this person over here feels like an enlightenment, an aha moment, like, oh, okay, that's what you were doing. I can do that too. This person is just desperate. They have like a desperate energy. This person might even be pregnant with the children here she's pregnant and expansion expanding like a a belly and then healing family issues it could be that there's a family here and they went back to their that family but i feel like this person just takes the breadcrumbs where you're just like no i deserve better i deserve more Okay, so I'm going to do some Kipper cards to clarify, give me a little bit more information about Pile One's person. Five cards, please. Five, 
false person guilty release. Privileged lady and then the main female. Yeah, with the privileged lady, this is where I'm saying, like, you're not going to put up with their bogusness. Communities on the bottom. You're not going to put up with anything, any breadcrumbs. You stand in your power. You're grounded. You're going to, you're saying, yeah, you're going to treat me better. And I feel like we're here with a message of concern. They were, they were kind of nasty to you. There was a message of concern, something you found out, something you saw, something you didn't like within a message, email, text, phone call, hmm. maybe, maybe a letter. You, you found something and it's, it was concerning. But really, their heart is here. You are the main female. But it's just like, I guess for them, they don't want to put in the effort of having someone of value. So false person and toil and labor. Yeah, they just have to work harder for you. They have to work harder for you. And they don't want to do that. Why are they so lazy? Maybe because they're feeling insecure over here. They, they, well, maybe they are because they're gravitating towards the other person who has insecurities as well, so they can both be insecure together. And the false person. I don't think they see you as a false person. I think they can't be there. They're false person. So I'll put that over there. Five cards over here. Five cards over here. False person. Religious factors. Yeah, I think they, it's because they can't hide with you. They can't be a false person. They have to be open. Everyone knows. I keep hearing everyone knows or everyone will know. Something they want to just keep hidden. Hmm. Occupation, lovers, marriage. This is a family over here. They grew apart, but they have children. They have children. They have children. They don't have children. Your person is acting like a child in this relationship where they can be lazy. They can just do whatever over here and they don't have to put forth the effort. So it seems like, yeah, I'm just going to stay over here. I'm going to commit over here. I can even be distant. And the person still accepts it where, you know, they have to work harder for you. You're not going to accept that. One card. Song. For Pal One. How the person is feeling about them. Overall energy. Feeling about them. Why did they choose someone else? Give me a message in a song. Why do they do that? Why are they so low down? They're let down. Sucker for pain. Okay. And then right here. Overall energy of this relationship. Why are they over here? And not with pile one. This card flipped over, so I'll take it. Uh, I kind of want to take another card too. Feeling another card. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Here then. Okay, so you have Sucker for Pain, Imagine Dragons and Little Wayne. I torture you, take my hand through the flame. I torture you. I'm a slave to your game. I'm a sucker for pain. I want to chain you up. I want to tie you down. I'm a sucker for pain. I don't know if your person is into, I don't know, something freaky, like fetishy or whatever. And maybe that's another reason. It's It makes them feel guilty. 
Uh, dreaming of you, Selena, late at night when all the world is sleeping. I stay up and think of you, and I wish on a star that somewhere you are thinking of me too. Because I'm dreaming of you tonight, so tomorrow I'll be holding you tight. And there's no where in the world I'd rather be than here in my room dreaming about you and me. Mm -hmm. So th this is where they want to be. They want to be with you. They're dreaming of you. So when this person goes to sleep, they're thinking about you. <sighs> they're thinking about you. And then suffer for pain. Uh, I don't know. This could be you or this could be them, but I feel like this is them. They're a sucker for pain. Like I said, they could be into something fetishy or they'd rather be in pain without you just to be lazy over here. So over here we have Echo's guest room. I know that I'm better off on my own. This person knows they're better off with <laughs> without your person. I wish I never let you sleep in my room. And also, you know, your person knows they don't really want them. They're better off without them. Been thinking about a way that I could take back the night I lost myself in you. I wish you would have slept in the guest room because maybe I'd still feel alive without you. I'm pretty sure that all this was my fault. I'm the one that kissed you first and took my clothes off. And then you have feigning. Hit me. All the chronic in the world couldn't even mess with you. You're the ultimate high. Take my money, take my house and my cars. For one hit of you, you can have it all because making love every time we do is worse than drugs because I'm an addict of you and you know I can't leave you alone you got me feeling I feel like this is this is this person here this is their energy they can't stop they can't leave this person alone that's why they accept everything that they do and your person is addicted to the high that they get from this person because it's like wow i can get away with a lot here like wow where over here i gotta work hard over here i just i'm just lazy i just do whatever i want and dinner is served so really it's a, a false sense of happiness here a false sense of happiness over here Seven energy cards for group one. Seven energy cards to see what's going on with this person. What's going on? Seven energy cards. Why do they leave? Why do they choose the other person? Why do they hurt group one? Again, why are they so lazy? Why are they over here with the third party or the other person? they choose the other person? Nope, not the game. Why did they choose the other person? Okay, so it says they're tied up. Their heart is tied up over here. And they want it to rest because they have this life force energy towards you. They have all of this energy towards the love that you give and that they have for you. They think about you a lot, dreaming of you and then the crown chakra. They appreciate you. You help heal them with 
who you are and how you are. Maybe maybe you have this, uh, I don't know, go to the same church even though I feel like there's a difference here. But religious factors and healer. Some sort of spirituality might be similar for some people, not all people. So obviously there's there's a difference here. Um, yeah, they're just there's they're resting, they're they're sleeping right here. They're sleeping on this. They're in like meditation mode where it's just in their mind. But they do appreciate you. But it doesn't show. You're not seeing it. You're not seeing it. Mm -mm. Because it's like their hands are tied. So if you appreciate me and you want to be with me and all these beautiful things, why aren't you moving? Why are you still? Why did you go over here? This relationship is empty. They don't even really know if they want to be in this relationship. They are. They have two paths. They have to figure out which way they want to go. They know they don't want to be over here. Why are you over here? They, they think this is a victory, a victorious relationship. But it, like I said, it's a false sense of happiness. False. It's just false. Maybe they even have money tied to this person here. They feel like this person is of value. So they try, try or show that they're trying to give love. I've never noticed this, but he has a heart here on his leg. It's almost like he kind of ripped the heart off his clothes, his leg. And it's like, here, here, just take it, take this. Just giving this person anything. You know, it, it, he didn't rip it out of his heart. He ripped it off of his clothes. He didn't rip it out of his chest. He's just giving them anything. And then they see a heart and then they're happy with that heart. But they don't even realize this heart is not of substance. He just gave you the rags of what he's wearing. He just gave you like nothing. Okay. Okay, I guess. Okay, I needed two cards and these two cards fell, so I'll, I'll take it. The tower card and the chariot for you. And I need two cards for them over here. Mm, yeah, no, 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 oh my gosh, okay. So let's get let's get to you first. Everything is falling down around them. Give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Had a charge my battery. Okay, so everything is falling down around them without you. They're coming back because I don't know when. I can't say exactly when. But once they go through this tower moment, they'll be coming back towards you. Right? So remember I said they were breadcrumbing them, giving them a little bit. Look at this card. Keeping things behind their back. Like all the money is here. But I'm just giving you one. Beggar. Here you go. Peasant. You know? Like, that's that energy, like, over here. Here. Take this. Even though they have all of this here. So they know they're not giving enough. They understand that. And this person here is just like, I'll take whatever I can get, please. Just give me something. Just give me you. And they're like, yeah, all right, I'll give you a little bit. Here you go. But this relationship keeps them up at night. They worry. 
they know they're making a mistake. They're making a, a bad choice. <laughs> but why are you here? Why are you here? Because they're coming back, right? And then I'm going to pull three of these cards here for you. I just need three cards for pile one. Three cards for pile one. Why are they over here with this other person? Why is Pile One's person with someone else? You keep seeing children. So let's get back to you. So maybe there were just some arguments here and it just feels like every time there's an argument it just kinds of uh, kind of stabs a hole, punctures a hole in the boat. In the boat, it started to sink, started to drown a little bit. You are very stuck in your ways and this is like the privileged lady as well so this is how they're seeing you like the privileged lady she is very she is very comfortable she's not going to move she's not gonna budge she's not gonna let anyone hurt her you know she 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 owns everything and that's you <laughs> here she has her flowers she has her animals She's comfortable. And they see that as, wow, I can't get away with anything with pile one. Mm, I got to step up my game and I don't want to. I don't want to. So I'm just going to swim away. I'm going to take the easy route. Because the boat may have holes in it, but it can be repaired. Can it be repaired? It can. It can, but they'd rather dig like a gold digger. And go over here. I wanna pull one more card. Cause why did I say that? Do you have a lot of money where you're providing for them? I think it's just the intimidation factor or they feel kind of invisible like a shadow and they think about this a lot Maybe even they don't feel like macho, like a man or, or um, secure. They don't have to be a man. They don't feel secure and it gives them insecurity because you're comfortable. You're a boss. You, you have it. You're it. And you know you're it. And they know you're it. So it, it's it's kind of like, not that it's not a challenge, but it's it's a challenge that they feel defeated before they can even start. And they think about this a lot. And it's just their insecurities. 
their insecurities. They have to work so hard. And that's their mind playing tricks on them. That's the trickery. That's the false person. They, they see you as a false person, but no, it's them. And that's why they try to tear you down with these nasty messages. Because you're it. You're the main. You're it. And you're continuously growing in abundance. Even if you don't feel like it, ask your friends. Ask your friends. They know. They know you're it. They can help build your confidence too. So they're over here because it's easy as pie. Easy as pie. And then I keep seeing like children too. They'd rather keep their eyes closed and think of you. Think of the decision. Didn't we have this card again? I feel like we have this card. Making a decision. There we go. It's the same thing. They'd rather keep their eyes closed. But there's like a shadow over the eyes or like some type of wound or something. It's like their eyes are closed, but they're it's open in their mind. They, they know this is not where they're supposed to be. They know they need to make a decision, come to a conclusion. Because this person's going to possibly figure out that they're being breadcrumbed and they're going to get tired of it. It feels good now, but after a while, there's no balance. There's no balance. This is a false victory. They're going to become enlightened. And that's probably when this tower moment comes over here. And then they go running back to you. And then they go, okay, 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 I'll do right, I'll do right. So give it some time, but they'll be back. They'll be back. Thank you, Pile 1. Okay, Pile 2. If you pick the cute little fuzzy Totoro with the rough rose quartz, then this reading is for you. So let's get started and let's see why your person chose the third party. So this side's gonna be for you, this side's gonna be for the other person. Let's see, why did pile two person choose someone else? <laughs> I just noticed you can see the little cat paws. <laughs> My little cat's paws. This is the one that fell out. Hmm. Okay, and then I need 10 cards for this side. Comparison is to why Pile 2's person chose someone else. Okay, so the reason why you're in separation right now is because of differences of opinion, differences of beliefs, um, not really accepting, not really being accepting of the other. 
So we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. We have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And then we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You can't even see that. Okay. Now you can. So... What I feel is the balance was off and one or the other or both could not seem to let it go and forgive and to move forward. So someone was feeling alone in this relationship. They feel, I guess they felt like they put more effort in than the other. And with this workaholic here, it could be more effort into the relationship or they someone couldn't help but work 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 all the time and the other person was feeling isolated alone and that couldn't they yeah they couldn't accept that and not knowing how to forgive how to make up how to make it right how to get it together so this workaholic can be like a codependency as well. Maybe someone had an upbringing where they were poor and they work so hard because they don't want to be like that ever again. And the other person doesn't understand that because they've never been through it or they haven't been through it as strongly as the other one. So there was this enlightenment moment here and I guess what I feel is that something was said and maybe read into incorrectly, but it caused the other person to release, to let go. Um, so this is on your side, I'm trying to pick up anything else. I just see that it's like, Someone couldn't accept feeling so lonely. And they weren't lonely. They just felt lonely. It was all in their head that they couldn't let it go. They couldn't release that. Okay, so they came over here and chose someone else. There's engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. There's flirting here. Extend your lighthearted energy to others and what do we have make the effort great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life chemistry there's a strong magnetic connection here express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture complacency and then self-worth So naturally starting something new because this doesn't feel like um, a relationship that they went back to. This feels like a new relationship. So naturally starting something new is always going to feel happy. You know, you have the honeymoon over here, but they're feeling it over here with engagement, flirting making the effort the chemistry worth waiting for so they went over here because it's just something new right and this person doesn't work as much as maybe you do so the chemistry felt right uh they were able to express themselves in a different manner than you do and i feel as that it translated well with your person so it looks like they're making more effort over here and it, if this looks if you can see them like on social media or anything like that like if you know who this person is it looks like they're so happy it looks it looks like they're happy and that's really annoying i'm sure um but with this complacency they're inside they're thinking about you they're on the outside you see this energy 
So this is what we see on the outside. This red energy. Red is like fire, like you know, excitement or whatever. But in the inside, this is how they look. Really sad. She's even shedding a tear. The plants closest to her are wilting. So what we see on the outside is not exactly what it is. Everything that glitters is not gold, right? Maybe your person even got engaged. I wanted to point that out. I am not sure. Maybe they didn't. This person here makes your person feel worthy. And I just think it's because they're giving them more attention than you were able to give. Not that this is true because your person is confused. There's all this like inner conflict here where the confusion card is like, this person looks fed up. I'm ready to be over here. You know, this is where I want to be. But then there's this like whisper in the ear that's like, hey, you know, you're not happy. Stop playing games. And then right here where you see complacency, she's unhappy internally. So this was like, no, I don't feel that it's forced, but maybe they felt like they had to come over here just to just to feel worthy just to feel like mm, i i am somebody i keep hearing that i am somebody you know i guess after a while you feel like you, you've lost it i don't know how old you are but it's like after a while it's you want to feel like yeah i still got it and that's what is going on over here it's like yeah i still got it worth waiting for and then the despondence let me get back to these cards once I pull five of these from your side just give me five cards for the energy for group two your side Okay, you have two message cards here. Court, what is this? Adjudication and then courthouse. So there was a message that was said or something concerning on your side message of concern message message and are you going to court with your person is this like a divorce is this is there a legal matter into this because the courthouse is over here but the judge is over here so maybe this person is the reason for your divorce And then you're getting money from it, financial support from it. That's one situation. That's one situation. Hmm. And I'm feeling for some people, they had to move away for their job. Or they, they often travel for their job and your, your person was just getting flustered with that, being home 
lonely. Because then I move over here and I see great fortune. It's very similar cards. It's like the judge and then this. Great fortune, sudden wealth. What is all this money? Or maybe they feel like they won the lottery over here. Why? Why do you feel that way? This person over here could be rich as well or, or have a more income to where they don't have to work as hard as you do. And your person is just kind of living the life from that. Indulging in someone else's finances. Hmm. Okay, let's get one song card for you and how your person is feeling. For you. Just one song card because you loved me. Like, yeah, that's great. Because you loved me. Celine Dion. And then over here, the other person. Why? Why do they go over there? Why do they choose someone else? Guest room. Guest room in the house. Could this have been like a friend? For some of you? Is this like, did your friend take your man? Or woman? Guest room. Some visitor. Another one. In the name of love here. Come undone. This relationship isn't what it appears to be. It's what the, the message I keep getting for this side. So let's go to your side. Because you love me, Celine Dion. For all the times you stood by me, for all the truth that you made me see, for all the joy you brought to my life, for all the wrong that you made right, for every dream you made come true, for all the love I found in you, I'll be forever thankful, baby. You're the one who held me up. You never let me fall. You're the one who saw me through, through it all. And then this band is too close to touch. The song name is In the Name of Love. If I told you this was only going to hurt, if I warned you, that the fire is going to burn. Would you walk in? Would you let me do it first and do it all in the name of love? Would you let me lead you even when you're blind in the darkness, in the middle of the night, in the silence, when there's no one by your side? Would you call in the name of love? In the name of love, I want to testify. Scream in the holy light. You bring me back to life and it's all in the name of love. This is like a confection. Confession. I need some water. <coughs> Where it's like you're you're choked up when you got this message. Like that's probably why I'm choking up. You kind of were shocked. You couldn't believe it. Enlightened. Because it's not that you didn't express yourself. You did. It just didn't translate. So that's why it's like you're choked up because you've been confessing how you feel. You've been telling the world how you feel. But it just wasn't feel, it doesn't feel like it was good enough for your person. So they come over here to a friend, to someone else, right? Guest room echoes. I know that I'm better off on my own. I wish I never let you sleep in my room. Been thinking about a way. So they even they might have even cheated. The night I lost myself in you, I wish you would have slept in the guest room. Because maybe I'd still feel alive without you. I'm pretty sure that all this was my fault. I'm the one who kissed you first and took my clothes off. And then come undone, Duran Duran. My impeccable dream made breath and skin. I've been waiting for you. Signed with a home tattoo. Happy birthday to you. Was created for you. 
can't ever keep from falling apart at the seams. Can I believe you're taking my heart to pieces? Yeah, this was, it feels like uh, for some people it's like an affair, but it's falling apart. It's falling apart. This is just for the moment. This is just momentarily. This is just a feeling right now, but it's it's coming undone. It just felt like, wow, I'm so happy here. I won the lottery, blah, blah, blah. Like uh, all the, the BS stuff that no one wants to hear when someone breaks their heart. But your person was feeling like that. But it was just like a temporary high, if that makes sense. It's just a very temporary high. I need seven cards. Energy cards for Pile Two's energy. Why did they choose a third party? Why did they leave Pile Two? They're so much happier over with you. You have victory. You have the sun. You have blossoming abundance. You have strategy, which looks like a, a message as well. The pen and paper. It's like a plan, though. Like you, I guess you were planning a future with each other, but something tie them <clears throat> up where they just felt like, no, 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 I feel stuck. But the offer was on this side. It's like I hear, I hear like so your royal oats. I hear that, and it's just like I, uh, no, uh, I know. No one wants to hear this, but it's almost like they had to do this. They had to go over here. It was something that they had to figure out on their own, like a spiritual path. Hearing, being around other people going through whatever tragedy they're going through will help them figure out how they are, who they are in a relationship. Because they're much happier here, but they didn't want to hear it from you. Because they don't know which way to go. They don't know which way to go. They feel cornucopia, like all this sudden wealth. This is abundance here. They feel love here. But it's something they have to... They have to speak about. They have to... I'm just going to read. Um, voice themselves. Say something out loud. It's, it's something that needs to be said on this side. That's what it is. Something that needs to be said that this person is kind of going to knock sense into them. Because they didn't take you serious. They're not taking you serious over here. Let's get two deviant moons. Yeah, huh? Wheel of Fortune. And then this one, it's, it's almost like they poke you to see if you hurt. It's very childish. It's like, oh, well, let me see if, if, I, if I do this or if I do that. It's, it's almost like they're kind of testing you. 
And maybe they feel like that's passion. Maybe that's how they grew up, where their parents argued all the time. And so arguing, testing people, testing people's boundaries, that feels like passion to them. And it's really not. But you see here, the Wheel of Fortune. This looks like, kind of looks like she's nagging. And the other person's just like, oh no, oh no. Like they don't want to hear it. Smoke is in the background. That wheel can go either way. So they were testing their luck and they felt like, oh, okay, let's spin the wheel and now I have my great fortune. Now I have my sudden wealth over here. No, nope, it's temporary. It's very temporary. Yeah, they're feeling like the emperor, but here they are worrying. Worrying, it's keeping them up at night what they did to you. It's keeping them up at night. You can feel all grand over here, but it's keeping them up at night. Three more cards. They are very anxious. They have anxiety in this relationship. not so perfect. Juggling six of cups really and then yeah they were just juggling their emotions, juggling their battles, juggling their struggles, juggling just juggling with you. And they just wanted to see how things would land. But you may be childhood loves. You may have known each other for a long time. And they felt like it was time to move on, to move forward. Oh, they keep getting so your royal oats. Like they just wanted to experiment almost. And they went about it in a, I see a devious way here with the moon. It was a lesson from their childhood. Like the father just, the father taught the son how to be, how to be devious, how to be manipulative. Um, well, I don't know what you call that. Hmm. Um, like a, a curse, a cycle that's carried down. You know, when you see, like, one parent do something, and then you end up doing it, and then your children end up doing it, it's, it's kind of like, that's what it feels like. But this person is going to put up a wall of protection and get rid of your person. This is, like, the hangman. I don't know if this image is triggering. Sorry if it is. But, um... It's heavy on the brain, heavy on the brain here. And it's this relationship is almost like it's killing them. We can't see that on the outside, but it's when these doors shut, that's what's going down. And this person needs to make a decision. Your person and the other person, they need to make a decision of which way they wanna go. Because this chemistry is going to wear off pretty soon. And their friends could even be telling them that as well. You have community on your side and on here. So I don't know, maybe you go to the same schools, uh, work. Like there's some type of community, same neighborhood, same city, same something. Communities so on both sides. And that's what I got for you, group two. Everything that glitters is not gold. Your person needs to make a decision. 
it's feeling like, yeah, I won the lottery, but they didn't. They were just very immature with you. Very immature. Okay, thank you, Gritsu.